Hi, I'm B. Paul from Elgato. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you five ways to manage your PC audio with Stream Deck Plus. Listening to music is a great way to stay in the zone when editing or to help set a vibe on stream. And with Stream Deck Plus, it helps you seamlessly do just that. If you use Spotify, you can use Stream Deck Plus to pause music, play it, and also even skip to the next track. And if you really want to be fancy, you can even show the album artwork on your Stream Deck. And on top of that, if you enjoy what you're listening to right now, you can even use a button to heart that and add it to your liked playlist. You can do all this without leaving your editing software or even missing a beat on stream. Even if you use different software for music, you can still utilize Windows Media Control with Elgato Stream Deck to be able to pause, play music, skip to the next track, skip back a track, and it doesn't matter what application you're using, this will work with all of them. And if you're someone that uses headphones and speakers on your computer, you definitely want to check out the audio device plugin. This allows you with one key press to be able to switch between your headset or your speakers. Discord is one of the most popular platforms for communicating, whether it's for business or for fun. What's not fun is when someone joins your voice chat and they sound like this. With Stream Deck Plus and the new Discord update, you can actually adjust individual users' audio levels with a twist of a dial. And even if there's multiple users in the voice chat, you can just press the dial to toggle between them and then adjust them on the fly. But it doesn't stop there. Not only can you control other users' audio, but you can even adjust your own audio as well. So whether it's your input for your mic, or if it's your output for your headphones, or if you want to change what mic you're talking from, you can do that with a press of a button. If you want to deep dive into this new update, check out our video on the Elgato Workshop YouTube channel where we break it down step by step. With Stream Deck Plus, you have full control over all of your individual audio sources inside of OBS. If you notice your microphone is not loud enough or if it's too loud in your clipping, go ahead and adjust it with the corresponding dial. Even if a video plays sound, you can actually stack these all in one dial and toggle through them to adjust them individually. Couple this with the eight buttons that let you switch scenes, toggle sources, save replays, but control is nearly endless and feels natural with Stream Deck Plus. If you want to take your audio control to the next level, then with Stream Deck Plus, it actually enables the Wavelink software, which gives you the power of a full digital audio mixer at your fingertips. This allows you not only have different lines of audio for your gameplay, Discord, music, and more, but Wavelink actually gives you a submix. What that means, you can individually adjust the audio for your monitor mix, what you hear, and your stream mix, what your viewers hear. Simply adjust the Discord audio channel stream mix to go ahead and adjust your friend's voice for your audience. This works for every audio channel you route through Wavelink, so it makes it easy to find the perfect balance for audio for you and your viewers. Now next, whether you're just trying to add some production value to your stream, or if you want to add some fun memes to your next Zoom call, the Stream Deck plugin store features tens of thousands of royalty-free sounds and also music tracks to use at your fingertips. For streamers, you can add some chill beats to your starting soon screen as you bring in your viewers when you start. Or whenever you get that sick 360 no scope kill, you can actually sound off an MLG air horn to get your chat pumped. Or be really mature with nearly a hundred different fart sounds. I wish that was a joke, but it's not. And if you're a working professional, you can add some nice corporate background music to your presentation, and then even give yourself a round of applause at the end of it. And if any of your coworkers ask some annoying questions, you can just hit them with a fart sound. We recommend you not do this to your boss though, as you could lose your job. Now let's say if you fall into both scenarios of being a professional and also a content creator, you can actually manage your stream deck with profiles, smart profiles, folders, so you can keep everything organized depending on what the scenario you're using it in. And there you go. That was five ways to use Stream Deck Plus to be your all-in-one audio controller for your PC. And how do you use your Stream Deck to make controlling your PC even easier? Let us know in the comment section down below as we'd love to hear what you folks have come up with yourself. Be sure to like the video if you found it helpful and also don't forget to subscribe to the Elgato YouTube channel and the Elgato Workshop YouTube channel to learn how to make the most out of your content. Once again, I'm B. Paula from Elgato. Until next time, good luck and have fun.